Well, good morning. Welcome to our daily prayers. It's Wednesday today, the start of June. And as you probably know, this week in daily prayers, we've been following the build up to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this coming weekend. Here's one of probably many pictures of the Queen meeting somebody. Um, heaven knows how many hands she must have shaken and smiles she must have flashed at so many people. Um, for a long, long life, 75 years in this role. And we're going to be thinking a little bit about that. And as we uh, come to pray now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're looking today at some words of Jesus in Mark chapter 10, picking it up at verse 42 after James and John both wanting positions of glory next to Jesus. So Jesus realises that not only those two, but the whole of the disciples need teaching about what following him is really about. And in brackets, it's not about getting glory. Here we are, verse 42. Jesus called the disciples together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be the first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So striking that these human disciples, James and John, want the positions of glory next to Jesus. And yet Jesus here is saying, not only does everyone else need to be a servant, but I am going to be the ultimate servant. I will be a servant, but actually serving you in the most ultimate way, which is to give my life that you may have spiritual lives. Goodness me, the ultimate servant. And as Christians, what we do as disciples of his, as followers of Jesus, is follow his example by serving. And the Queen really knew this. Here is the prayer she asked us to pray as, as her statement in April 47 when she came to the throne. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. What a striking thing to say, the person who's going to wear the most amazing crown with the almost the world's biggest diamonds in it, uh, ermine and fur and velvet and heaven knows what else. On gold thrones, you get the general picture, don't you? Is the one who says my main position is to serve you and my country. And actually one of the wonderful things is 75 years later, we can see the truth of that. She walked the talk. So I suppose as we reflect, it's worth thinking, is my attitude as a Christian one of serving? Yes, the Queen has given us a great example, but actually the real example is Christ, who not only served, but served us that we might discover a life in him. Let's pray together now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>